it's Alyssa, and I am here with another reading today. So, um, I think what we're going to do today is a no communication reading. Um, so this will be, you guys know how it is, this will be for those of you who are not in contact um, with your person of interest. Um, well, okay, so this is You Deserve Love. This is going to be for our first group. Let's get a card for the others. It's safe for you to love. This will be group two. Whoa, and soulmate. This will be for group number three. Um, let's see. Yeah, three. I think that's all we're going to do today. Okay. Um, so let's see. For group one, we're going to do Dalmatian Jasper. Uh, for group number two... Let's go with the Chakra Stone. And group three, we'll do Tiger's Eye. How about that? Okay, guys. Um, so, let me move these so they're a little bit more centered. Um, yeah, go ahead and make your choice. And while you're doing that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support. It really... Uh, means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Um, also, reminder, I do personal readings. Um, the link to my Etsy store is in the description box down below, so you can check that out. And the information on the individual listings will give you all the info you need to buy one. Um, also, I have an FAQ that I made um, on my shop page. Um, so you may want to check that out before you buy a reading from me, especially if you've never, um, had a tarot reading done before. I would recommend looking that over. Um, also a reminder, these are just general readings. Um, if the reading that you choose does not resonate with you, then it wasn't meant for you to hear, okay? Um, it was meant for somebody else. Um, because these readings are supposed to apply to hundreds and thousands of people, um, they're not always going to resonate with you specifically. That's just the way it is. Um, so if you don't like the reading that you picked, um, pick a different one or watch somebody else. Um, there's tons of tarot readers on here, um, and you're bound to find one that resonates with you. Okay, so guys, I hope you are thinking about your decision. Um, think about the person you're interested in. Meditate for a moment. Let me take a sip of my tea, honey. Also, before we start, I just want to say I've had some ideas um, floating around in my head um, about things that I kind of want to do on this channel. Um, I've, I'm, I'm interested in possibly doing vlogs or doing videos where I talk about myself, like my path, um, because, you know, it's, it's in the, uh, it's in my about information, but, um, some people don't know. I am a witch and I am a spirit worker. I'm also a pagan. Um, so if, you know, any of you guys have, um, things that you would, be interested in hearing me talk about that relate to any of those subjects, I would love to do some, like, actual, you know, chatty videos, um, and not just tarot all the time, okay? Um, so if that sounds like something you would be interested in, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you think I should do videos like that on this channel, or make a second channel just for vloggy and chatty kinds of videos. Um, I'm really interested to hear your opinions on that. All right, guys? Okay. So, we are going to get started. <clears throat> Let me put my drink over here. All right. So, um, group one, Dalmatian Jasper. So, your, um, overall energy uh, is you deserve love. You are lovable. So this is just a message that um, your guides want you to hear right now. We'll see. Um, 
let's see, which deck do I want to use for this one? How about, how about this one? Okay, so, all right, we got one falling out already. We have the Devil card. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Devil card is about feeling kind of trapped. It's about feeling stuck. It's also about dependencies, addictions. Um, I associate this card with trauma and mental illness. Um, however, on the flip side of that, it can also be like just a super major sexual energy, okay? Um, so, this card is telling me that um, hmm, your person is either feeling very trapped by some sort of situation that they are in, or they're feeling hardcore, intense <laughs> sexual feelings towards you. Um, possibly both, okay? Um, the Queen of Cups, this card is an indication that there is a very strong connection between you and this person, okay? Um, a lot of times I see this card as a sign of a psychic connection, okay? But also very deep, deep running, profound emotions, okay? And then the Queen of Wands, this card is kind of a... You know, the Queen of Wands is sort of a... I see her as a very independent person. She's very energetic. She's very fiery and passionate. She really doesn't give a fuck what anybody thinks about her. And she also gives me a little um, kind of witchy vibes because she has this black cat down here. Um, I know that's kind of stereotypical, but, you know, that's just what she makes me think of. Um, so... I feel like you guys who picked this group, possibly, um, maybe some of you guys are into that kind of thing. Maybe some of you are very spiritual people or you're into witchcraft or something like that. Um, maybe some of you guys have been trying to do a little bit of uh, <laughs> spell work um, to influence this situation. And my cat is trying to get up here. Which he cannot. You cannot. Sorry, sir. Um, so, okay, let's get some more cards. Let's see how they're feeling. Let's get some clarification on that. How is group one's person feeling right now? Tell us more about that. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, the Ten of Wands, um, this is about having a heavy burden. This is about carrying a really... Um, carrying something around that's really weighing on you. So this is, you know, going along pretty pretty well with the devil card. Like, I feel like your person is just feeling very stuck. Like, there's a lot on their mind right now. Let's get some clarification for the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Okay, we have the Six of Swords and we have the Page of Swords. So... Um, let me start with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, I see this as communication, okay? Um, so, if you're watching this, clearly you're not in communication right now. I'm seeing this as a sign that you will be again. Um, I can't really say at this point when this might come, but it will come. Um, let me say that. Um, the Page of Swords is also about truth and clarity and insight. So I think this person has some things that they want to tell you, some sort of truth that they want to get off their chest and tell you about. Um, and that could be partly what is weighing on their mind so much. That could be something that they are worried about right now. Um, the Six of Swords also is, uh, this is a card that talks about reconciliation for me. Um, it's about movement. It's about coming together um, into calmer waters, right? So I'm seeing this as your person coming back towards you, of course, bringing you some communication and, you know, the possibility of reconciling, okay? Um, I think because, because this person knows that... I think this person recognizes 
that you have a very strong connection and it's not like anything that they've ever really experienced before and so it's special right um and so they're not really willing to give that up even though even though they're a little bit afraid of it right now or it's causing them anxiety right now i think in the end they're going to decide that they have to hold on to it okay they they've got to um, they've got to embrace it. I think that's what they're um, ultimately going to do. So, okay, let's see. Let's see what else, what other cards want to come out. Um, <laughs> there's the Two of Cups. So, yeah, you guys definitely have a really strong connection. This is probably a Twin Flame or a high-level soulmate. Okay, um, I think this is basically what's on the horizon for you union okay that's what this card is about um ultimately right these two cards are going together six of swords and two of cups they want to reconcile they want to come into union with you um that is the end goal but i'm not seeing this happening like really quickly um so let's see what they're next uh, actual move might be um, what actions we have the Hierophant okay so the Hierophant is uh, it's about stability it's about commitment um, it's about hmm let me get another clarifier why is the Hierophant here whoa we have the six of wands okay so what I'm getting from these two cards is, I think your person is, um, your person I think is talking to other people. Not necessarily about you or about your situation, but about something that is bothering them. Um, because it's not just this situation with you that's on their mind, okay? There's more to it than that. Um, this is a very multifaceted person who has a lot of things going on, who has, I think, a lot of baggage, a lot of stuff that they are trying to sort out. I'm seeing the Hierophant as possibly like um, a therapist or a counselor or somebody who your person is going to for help, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be any kind of professional. It could be a family member or something, but somebody that they see as very wise and authoritative who can help them, that they are going to, okay? Um, and they're doing this because they, you know, they feel like this person is going to be able to help them to sort shit out, right? Because the, your your person feels kind of, they feel a little bit scattered. They feel a little bit, they feel stretched kind of thin. They feel kind of unhappy um, in their life right now, overall. There's just this sense of being unsatisfied. A lack of satisfaction in, you know, their work, in their personal life, in all kinds of things. Um, for some of you, your person may also be thinking about going back to school. Okay? Um, getting... Uh, going for higher education because they're so unhappy with what they're doing career-wise and they want something better, they want something more stable, you know, they want to earn some higher pay, something like that. So for some of you, that's something your person is going through right now as well. Um, for some of you, it could be all of the above, right? Because like I was saying, this person feels like they have a lot on their plate at this moment, okay? Um, all right, so let's see. So as far as actions are concerned, I'm not seeing them taking any action towards you um, in the near future. These are the actions that they're taking currently within their life, um, their own life. Um, because I feel like they, how do I want to say this? They feel like they've got to get some of their shit together before they can be in a relationship. 
like successfully. Um, and I think possibly the reason that they pulled away from you is because they knew, like they realized that they had to get it together. Does that make sense? Like, like they felt like they couldn't be the person you need them to be or want them to be as long as they're not right. You know, as long as they're so unhappy. Um, and so that's what they're trying to do right now so that they can like come back and be, yeah, so they can come back and be like this King of Cups. Um, you know, the King of Cups is very mature. He's, he's very emotional, but he's like, kind of intense he you know he has a lot of deep feelings and but they don't control him right he's he's in control of himself and his feelings um and that's what this person is trying to accomplish that's what they're trying to achieve for themselves so that they can be better like for you presumably because you know six of swords two of cups like they definitely want to come back to you I just feel like they don't feel completely ready. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me pull one or two more of these. Okay. What is this? This is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I feel like your person is trying to get into a better state of mind. Right? Like I was saying. They're, they feel kind of heavy right now their energy is kind of heavy it's weighed down by all these things that they're trying to do all these all these ways in which they are unhappy with their life um so they're trying to you know raise that vibration up um and get into a better headspace a lighter energy um so that when they come towards you again there's a much higher chance of you know you guys having something successful right Okay, let's see what else we have. We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So yeah, I think this is saying, this is another confirmation of the connection that you have. It's, it's like magnetism, right? He, this person is really drawn to you. You're very drawn to each other. And this is a sign that, you know, just because you're not in contact right now, that doesn't mean this person doesn't care about you anymore or they're not thinking about you because I think they are. Um, they just, they're just trying to get better. They're trying to get better. For some of you guys, I feel very strongly that they could be, they could have been diagnosed with, um, depression or something like that um which I think has come as sort of a relief to them because now they're like okay so this is why I have felt this way and so you know this is how I can fix this um that's not for all of you that's just some of you guys um but yeah for for you guys your person I mean all of you your person is trying to get help in some way or another all right um but they feel this attraction to you they feel this this bond that you have and it's not going away okay you don't have to worry about that happening um healing family issues yeah your person is just trying to get better they're just trying to heal themselves they're trying to become better versions of themselves they're trying to they're just trying to get right. They're trying to sort it out um, because they just, I think a lot of you guys, your person wants something really real and really stable and really committed. And, you know, maybe they, maybe some of you feel like your person led you on and then, you know, ghosted you and you're kind of bitter about that. But I think the reason that happened was because they know they want something like long term like you know um but they might have realized that they weren't in the right state of mind to actually be capable of maintaining a relationship like that does that make sense 
So that's why they stopped communicating with you. That's why they pulled back. Because they were like, oh shit, I really want these things, but I'm not personally stable enough or, I, you know, I don't personally have it together enough to actually be that, to actually maintain something like that, okay? So this card, you deserve love. This, I think for many of you, could be your person learning self-love, okay? Because I think for a lot of you guys, your person has struggled with this concept. Um, so this could be something that they are learning to do as well, learning to love themselves. Um, and also, there's another meaning here, which is that you, the viewer, have to remember that just because this person has pulled away from you does not mean that they don't care about you. Um, and it doesn't mean that you did anything wrong, because I think for most of you, you probably didn't do anything wrong. It's like, it has nothing to do with you, honestly, um, the reason that they are gone. Um, it, it really doesn't have anything to do with you. It's all because of things that are going on within themselves, okay? So, um, yeah, I was going to pull an outcome card, but I think I pretty much already got what the outcome is going to be with the Six of Swords and the Two of Cups. You know, there's reconciliation, but let me just see what, uh, what kind of outcome this, oh. We have finances and career, and we have calling in your soulmate. Okay, so, um, calling in your soulmate, it's pretty clear to me that this person probably is a soulmate of yours, um, and calling them in, this is basically just saying that, yeah, they're going to come back into your life. That's going to be the outcome here. Moving, moving back in, settling in, <laughs> coming together, all of that goodness. And then finances and career. Like I was saying for a lot of you guys, I think your person is also dealing with stuff related to their work and their finances. Um, so I think this is actually like a, an outcome for them personally. Like, they're going to, they're going to succeed in what they're trying to do. You know, they're going to find something that's going to actually make them feel fulfilled. Um, work, that is, in terms of work. Um, and I think for many of you, this is a person who feels kind of defined by their success. Like, if they're not making good money, if they don't feel like they are in a position that is, that has, you know, some esteem, they feel like a failure. Um, and that, you know, if, if they feel that way about their job now, that is probably also contributing to this. Like, they want to be more successful, they want to have more, they want to have more, um, I don't want to say authority, because that's not exactly the feeling I'm getting. They just want a position that is a bit more respective, respectable, okay? That's what I'm getting. They want to, they want to be, <laughs> they want to feel like they're more respectable for, you know, when they come back around, because, like, they want to be able, I feel, I think this person wants to be able to take care of you, um, at least to, to some extent, you know? Um, and a lot of them feel like right now they can't do that with their current work situation. So, group one, that's your reading. That is what's going on with your person right now. I hope that this resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I love to hear from you guys. And, um... Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number two, which was It's Safe for You to Love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And we have the Chakra Stone. All right, group two, let's see what's going on with your person right now. Um... We're going to look at what their feelings are, you know, what their next move might be, and then the potential outcome. Um, that's a bit too many. We'll see, though, if any of them come out again. Let's see. 
What are group two's person's feelings right now? Okay, we have the nine of cups. So this card is uh, about uh, wish fulfillment. It's about feeling satisfied. It's about feeling very content. You know, this guy is sitting here. He looks real happy. He's got all of his cups lined up here. It's like he feels like he has everything he could possibly need or want. Um, so I feel like, uh, you guys, your person might be kind of feeling that way right now. Your person might be feeling very content. No, oh, we have the <laughs> Ace of Cups also. So the Ace of Cups is about a new beginning in, particularly in, uh, terms of relationships. And we've got Justice. So Justice is, it's about balance. It's about... There's a bug on my tablecloth. Um, it's about balance. It's about fairness. It can also be an indicator of um, some sort of karmic thing, okay? So I feel straight away that you guys, your person could be involved with some kind of... They could be in a, in a karmic relationship right now, okay? And I'm getting that with Justice, with the Ace of Cups, because this is like a new relationship or, you know, a new phase of a relationship. And I think whatever the case is, they feel pretty content within it right now. Okay, so how are they feeling? That's, that's what's going on in their life right now. So how are they feeling? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. That's interesting. Um, five of Pentacles is about feeling abandoned. It's about uh, feeling left out. It's like like you're missing something, like something is missing. So let me get another clarifier for that. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? That's too many. I, I just want one, you guys. There we go. The Seven of Wands. So, Seven of Wands, this card is about feeling defensive. It's also about putting up a fight. Um, usually, I see this as somebody who is willing to fight for something that they want. Um, I feel like your person... Even though they're pretty content in their situation right now, I feel like your person still is sad about whatever happened between you and them in the past. Um, I think they're still feeling the loss of, you know, not having you in their life. Um, and I feel like they... They tried to fight for what... I think this person tried to fight to keep you in their life or at least they feel that way that way <laughs> oh my god um or at least that's how they feel from their perspective it's like they tried and they tried they did all they could to make things work or to make you happy but they ultimately failed that's how they're feeling whether that's true or not and you might have a totally different perspective on the situation but that's what it's looking like from their point of view. That's how they see it. Okay, so, um, how else are they feeling? Queen of Pentacles. So they're feeling pretty stable right now. They're feeling very secure. Um, they feel... Yeah, I think definitely a lot of you guys, your person is in another, um, your person's probably in a relationship right now. Um, and if that doesn't sound right to you, then this probably isn't the reading for you. <clears throat> because that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting pretty, pretty strongly. Um, and also, you know, these are general readings. Your person doesn't have to be in a relationship right now. But that's what I'm getting pretty clearly here. Okay. Um, yes, very secure. It feels like they're pretty happy. They're pretty happy. Yeah. 
why do I keep getting tons and tons of cards falling out here? I didn't really have this problem with the first reading. Okay, there's the star. I think your person is feeling like this relationship or whatever the situation is that they're in right now, it feels kind of healing to them. It feels like, it feels rejuvenated, rejuvenating. Um, they feel revived by it. Like, I feel like they, from their point of view, the relationship or the situation that they had going on with you just got to a point where it was exhausting and, you know, they felt like they tried and tried and tried and it never, it just didn't go anywhere. Um, and now, whatever they're doing now, whoever they're with now, they feel at ease, okay? And I think that could be what this card is talking about, like, this person that they're with or this situation that they're in now makes them feel safe all right it's peaceful it feels peaceful it feels calm okay sorry um so let's see we have the three three of pentacles and the knight of swords so it seems to me like your person kind of wants to contact you. We have the Knight of Swords, which to me is communication because swords are about insight, clarity, honesty, truth. Um, and the Knight, you know, I see this as somebody coming towards you with a message or having a message that they want to send. Um, and the Three of Pentacles, this is kind of like building something. This is kind of like it's teamwork, sort of, but it's, I'm seeing this more as a desire to sort of rebuild. Okay, does that make sense? Um, so I feel like your person, part of them would like to have an opportunity to rebuild with you, or rebuild a relationship, not necessarily a romantic relationship, but just something. I feel like they just, they want to, they want to have something. Um, but a lot of you, <laughs> I hope this doesn't make anybody angry or anything, but for a lot of you guys, your person feels like you are a pain in the ass. They still love you, but you're, you're a pain in their ass. Um, <laughs> That's what they're saying. Okay, so, um, hmm. And they have things they want to tell you that could be pertaining to, it could be that. They could want to tell you that you're a pain in the ass. Um, they could want to tell you that, you know, they still have feelings towards you. They could want to tell you that they would like, you know, they just, they just want you, I think they want to be a part of your life. They want to have you be a part of their life okay so let's see what actions they might be taking towards you we've got the ace of wands yeah so the ace of wands is a new start it's a new beginning it's something brand new so i think that is what they would like to have um with in you know in terms of your connection um however it doesn't really feel like they are super um, inclined to reach out at this point because, like I said, they do feel very content in, you know, whatever situation they're in now. Um, it feels safe. It feels secure. It feels peaceful in comparison to uh, what they came out of previously. Um, let me see. Let me pull some more Oracle cards. Whoa. We have let go of control issues, and we have stay optimistic. Okay, so, um, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Some of you guys, I think a lot of you guys, this is something that you need to understand. 
um, you cannot control this situation, you cannot control this person, you know, you, um, you have to let this person figure shit out on their own, okay, and there's really not any point in you being concerned about it because there's, like I said, there's nothing you can do to change anything, um, like, I think if you were to contact them, it would just kind of put them off you even more. Um, so I would not recommend doing that. Um, it's just like, you know, if this person is real, and this person truly, honestly cares enough about you to, you know, want to be with you, then they will come back. Okay, and if they don't, good because if they don't come back then they never you know they weren't that serious about it they weren't that interested in you that's just the tea okay like that's just the way it is so you know this is a message for you you um you can't uh you can't be wasting your energy um on you know thinking about this Okay, because it's not worth it. Um, not to say that this person's not worth it, but like, I don't, I don't see them coming towards you anytime soon, and so, you know, it's not really something that you need to think about right now. Um, and a lot of times people don't li really like it when I say that, but it's the truth, right? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's my job to tell you what the cards tell me, and this is what they tell me. Um, this is a message that a lot of people, I guess, need to learn. This is something that I had to learn myself, right? Um, can't control everything. I mean, look, I'm a Virgo. I want to control everything. But, you know, I can't. Neither can you. Um, stay optimistic, though. This card is saying, you know, you got to let this happen on its own time. You've got to let it progress naturally. But keep your head up, right? Stay optimistic because ultimately, you know, you're not going to feel the way that you feel right now. If, you know, if you feel discouraged because of this situation, if you feel um, unwanted or undesirable or disappointed or whatever, that those feelings are not going to last forever, right? You're going to find someone who is going to really just brighten your entire life um and if it's not this person it'll be somebody else for real um so yeah just don't forget that right there's there are multiple people out there for everybody okay there's not just this like mystical one being that you know is gonna make you happy there's many <laughs> there's many people who are who would be right for you, who will be right for you, okay? It's just a matter of giving it time, okay? So, you guys, um, let me see if I can't get, okay, okay, yeah. Unrequited love, this is your potential outcome for the short term. This card is just telling me that, you know, it's it's not that this person doesn't care about you. It's not that this person isn't interested in you. It's just that they're not going to make an effort right now. Okay, um, that's what I'm getting here. They they just, uh, yeah, they're, they're just not going to be coming towards you anytime soon. Um, and I'm not sure when they will. I mean, they will, definitely, eventually. I just don't know. I can't tell you when because it's, you know, it's it feels pretty far off. Okay. So, you guys, um, I know some of you are probably not going to be happy with this reading. But it's my job to tell you the truth. Okay. And this is the message that the cards have given me today for you guys. Um, and if you didn't like this one and it didn't resonate with you, just pick a different one, man. It's not that serious. <laughs> um, so yeah, group two, that's your reading. I hope that, I hope it resonated. I hope you liked it anyway. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching. We are going to move on now to group number three. Whoa. Which was the soulmate card with the tiger's eye. Right? Yeah, tiger's eye. Okay. Group three. What is going on with your person right now? How are they feeling? What actions might they be taking towards you? And what's the potential outcome going to be? How is your person feeling? What's going on in their life right now? Okay, there we go. The High Priestess. Okay, so the High Priestess is a very, um, this card talks about spirituality. It talks about kind of like esoteric, uh, spoopy shit, right? Um, so your person might be going through some kind of awakening, some kind of spiritual awakening. They could be um, really focusing on their religious beliefs if they are a religious person. We have the death card. This is about transformations. Yeah, you guys, I think your person is kind of going through something kind of intense. A le like a legit awakening of the soul or something could be uh maybe they found jesus i don't know let's see what else we have the six of swords okay so the six of swords is about movement a lot of times i see this as reconciliation however since this is indicating something that's going on in their life right now i feel like this is talking more about your person moving away from things that no longer serve them Okay, as part of this transformation, this awakening that they're undergoing. Okay, guys, so um, let's see how they're, whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> let's see how they're feeling right now. Whoa. We have the stars. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So both of these cards came out for group two. Um, the Star card is about healing. It's about restoration. So this kind of is, you know, it's following that same theme. Okay. Um, and the Five of Pentacles, this is making me think that your person is feeling very, um, very vulnerable right now. Like they are, they're going through this awakening whatever and it's it's making them feel good to some extent because it's like they feel like they have found maybe they feel like they've found their calling or they feel like they are becoming a better person and that you know that makes them feel good but also they feel vulnerable because it's like they're shedding things that it's like they're shedding the old to make way for new Okay, they are leaving certain things, certain people behind. They are, they are doing a lot of hard work right now with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, they're feeling tired, but it's like a good tired. It's like they feel like they're accomplishing something. And that's a good thing, right? Um, let me get some clarifiers. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're feeling like they are being reborn. They're feeling like they're becoming a brand new person. Okay, guys. Um, so, like, it, it, this is kind of a scary thing for them that they're going through. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're glad that it's happening. It feels like this is something that was p perhaps a long time coming. Okay. Okay, what actions might they be taking soon in the near future? Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Wheel. Okay, so... 
Um, the wheel card, this is another card about movement. This card also a lot of times talks about divine guidance. So, you know, if your person is undergoing like a spiritual awakening or something like that, this is telling me that this is like, you know, this is being guided by spirit, the universe, whatever. Um, yeah, this is like a necessary thing that's happening to them. It's kind of like, I was saying that it felt like this is, was kind of a long time coming. And it's kind of like they um, they put this off and they put this off and they put this off until finally they could not put it off anymore. <laughs> and, you know, it was kind of like, kind of like um, they got, you know, they just woke up one morning to a great big slap in the face and it was like okay you gotta you gotta get off your bullshit now <laughs> it's time it's time it's time to cut the shit and you know leave behind all this nonsense and foolishness that you've been doing and put some work into it into yourself and become a better person a wiser person the person that you were meant to be, right? You're reaching your full potential. So the Queen of Swords is, um, she is kind of a, you know, if this is talking about a person, this would be someone who is kind of distant, who is very rational, very um, not emotional at all. You know, she doesn't let her feelings show. She is kind of icy and cold. Um, and she just tells it like it is, right? And she doesn't really care if it hurts your feelings or not because she just, you know, she calls them as she sees them, right? So I feel like your person might, I mean, they definitely have things that they want to say. Um, I'm not sure what kinds of things they want to say. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. Um, but with the Nine of Swords, I'm seeing this as sort of cutting away all the things that do not serve them, that have only caused them pain in the past. And this could be anything. This could be people. This could be habits, jobs anything okay um this person is like purging purging all negativity from their energy um and cutting themselves off from all of these sources of that negativity that they've you know have um have had attached to them so let me get some clarifiers for these two cards The Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is about change. It's about communication. So I think, yeah, they definitely will be communicating with you. Um, I think they're just, ooh, I think they would like to just kind of um, tell you about the, what's been going on with them. Um, predominantly, it's like, they want to they wanna talk to you about what's been happening. I think a lot of you who picked this group are probably very spiritual people yourselves. You could be, you know, very, um, you guys could have already had an awakening. Um, and I think that your person is probably aware of that. And so that's why they want to talk to you. They want to they talk to you about this stuff because they know that you would understand. Um, Interesting. What kinds of... Okay. That's the Nine of Cups. Okay, so it feels to me like... So, so the Nine of Cups, to me, sometimes it can be about overindulgence. It could be food, it could be alcohol, it could be sex, it could be you know, just buying shit that you don't need, anything like that. So I think what this person is mostly trying to cut away is stuff like that. Um, just things that are distractions, things that don't do anything to make them a better person at the end of the day. 
Does that make sense, you guys? Um, and so these things are going to be different for all of your people, right? Because everybody's everybody has different vices, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I... Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, let me see what oracle cards want to come out for you. We have healing family issues and we have finances and career. So, yeah, this card, you know, take away family issues part. This card to me is just about healing in general. Um, so, you know, that's exactly what the star is about as well. So that's what this person is going through. That's what this person's working on. They're purging. They're purging themselves. They're purging negativity. They're purging everything and anything and everything from their life that isn't serving their highest good, right? We also have finances and career, so um, I'm not sure that this card is literally talking about finances and career in this case. This could just be talking about how, you know, they are doing a lot of work internally, internal work, okay? Um, and it's it, you know, it, these kinds of things are intense, right? And it, it works best when you can just do it alone and you don't have, you know, a ton of obligations to other people and you don't have to be super emotionally available to other people. So, you know, that's why these things are best done when you're single. <laughs> um, and I think that's really why this person's not communicating with you. Um, cause they're into you, like they dig you a lot. Um, I mean, we have a soulmate card, so <laughs> I feel like you guys are probably soulmates. Um, and the fact that you know each other, that could have been a catalyst for this, a transformation to occur within them, within them. Um, and, I, but I think that once, uh, once this person gets it together, once they, uh, come out on the other side of the tunnel, I feel like, I mean, definitely they're going to contact you. So let me get a one card for the potential outcome for you guys. This is kind of similar to group one because group one's person was also focusing on being a better person, um, on, you know, transforming their lives but it was less spiritual and more practical it was like you know g trying to um get a better job trying to improve their self-esteem trying to you know get like be uh mental health help stuff like that um but like this one it's it's very very spiritual, very 5D, okay, worth waiting for, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that I definitely see you guys coming together, ultimately, and, um, this separation you will find was worth it for, you know, the outcome, so I am, I can't really give you a time frame for when this might happen, I don't think it'll be a long time, but I don't think it'll be super soon either, probably a few months. Um, it really depends on when this started, because these kinds of things don't just happen overnight. You know, they take time. Um, people take time to change, right? Um, they take It takes time to learn these sorts of things. Um, so really it depends on when this started, when your separation started, and when this actual... Um, awakening occurred because if it was like a month ago it's probably going to be you know uh 
probably another six months at least. Whereas, you know, if you've already been in separation for a long time, it's going to be uh, sooner. Um, but yeah, group three, that's your reading. That's pretty much all I'm getting for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope that it resonated with you. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Um, I love to read your comments as long as they're not stupid or rude, which happens sometimes, but those get deleted. Um, anyway, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for today's reading. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye!